Hello all and uh, welcome on board. In this uh, short session, we're going to introduce to you uh, Anaconda uh, ecosystem. Uh, specifically, we're going to be looking at uh, SPIDER, uh, which is a Scientific Python Development Environment, IDE. Um, it's a very powerful uh, Python IDE with advanced editing, uh, interactive testing, debugging and introspection features. We're going to be using SPIDER, we're going to be relying on SPIDER quite heavily. Uh, for the rest of the, the sessions. Uh, so today, the intention is to introduce to you um, a Spider as a primer session, uh, where we're going to go through the major features of the platform, how to use it, how to utilize it, um, how to extract the most value out of uh, this platform, and then we move into um, more coding examples down the road. So let's just look at um, a, a first view. As you see on the screen, uh, post installation of Anaconda and opening Anaconda Navigator and selecting Spider, you'll be exposed to this screen in front of you. What you see is a very user-friendly en environment. It consists of three components, the major screen components. The first one on the left-hand side is the scripting side. Then on the right-hand side, we'll spend a bit more time in here variable explorer and plot and some files. And then at the bottom here, you're gonna end up with the console. The console is, is used for a bit of a communication with the system and Python. And we're gonna spend um, a lot of time reading and, and reviewing uh, this console as we go, go along. Overall, um, as I mentioned to you before, Python is uh, pre-installed as part of the Anaconda installation packages and includes all the major libraries that we're going to be relying on across um, the studies. Most importantly, um, the text and the .py formats of the files, we're going to be uh, using this screen in front of you. And um, going forward, you're going to be using some functionality on top of the uh, spider as a as a IDE, where most importantly we're going to be using this function which is run file or play, and we're going to be executing the scripts. So as an example, let me actually type uh, a simple script for you uh, to get you introduced to uh, to the environment. Uh, so let's say variable test. I'm going to um, to type um, as a welcome message. And the next line, I'm going to call a print function that is um, uh, invoking uh, the inbuilt function inside Python. And this print function is going to print the test variable. So that's all I did uh, in terms of the script. We introduced it to you as part of a saving a script file. So now I'm able to actually save this file and the file is called template.py, py is the extension that we're going to be using for Python files or scripts. If I go and run this script right now, what I expect to see is a response from Python delivering the test as a variable on the console as a print function. So if I execute, that's exactly what we're going to end up with. We're going to end up with the message being printed on the console. And that's how I actually can communicate with the Python scripting environment. Some other, other feature we're gonna be using down the road uh, where I'm later on, I'm going to introduce you to uh, the debugging functionality in the spider. Uh, this will be important for us once we start to write more technical, more advanced, more complex uh, coding environments or, or scripts. And then we will need to find some debugging or issues as we go along. Another important feature in spider is the interactive uh, relationship to uh, you and the script, where at the same time as writing a script, you'll be able to actually observe the variable. So you can physically have a look at a test variable. So in this case, the, the type of the variable is, is string, and it's very small in terms of the size. So that's the value of the variable. Um, later on, when we go deeper into the, some more complex examples, you end up to actually seeing some plots and additional files. So I'll run you through a very simple example um, later on where we're going to be exposed to this specific functionality. In order to interact with files as a last component of this uh, short session, in order to do that, what I can do is actually go and save the file, uh, save S, and I can save this file as a template uh, number two, and I will be able to allocate and save this file in a specific location. 
We will communicate through um, using files, which is .py scripts. Uh, so if you want to open a new file, you can just go back in and then load the template again, and you'll be able to um, open the original template that we've just been using, and you can move it all around uh, on the screen as such. Overall, there is no need to change any defaults or settings in folders. Once you have it pre-installed through the Anaconda package, uh, feel free to use it as it is defined. There is no need to play around in terms of the folder defaults or any other locations. Um, Spider will default to these locations that you see on the screen. You will be able to move around and you will be able to uh, communicate with this platform through those files, as I mentioned to you before whereby you can actually download and open the .pies or .excel spreadsheets or any other features. That is the basic introduction to Spider. At the moment, very easy, very clear uh, and easily executable uh, and user friendly, I have to say. Just give you an example of uh, what you can do with these files. Um, I'll just randomly run a file uh, just to populate the schemas and show you some of these screens. Uh, just to get you a bit of a feel and sense of what to expect uh, when we go deeper into uh, the Python coding. This is a very simple example of a linear regression that we're looking at that actually delivers some other information. In addition to um, showing you the variables that we're going to be dealing with, you can actually have a look at the data that we're handling across the platform. Um, this is very similar to having a look at an Excel spreadsheet, for instance. Uh, and at the same time, you will be able to see and observe any plotting functions that you might be able to derive. And here you can also um, save these plot functionalities and the figures uh, and the results um, as we go along. Also, again, from the file perspective, it will automatically default to those files that you actually defaulted to use. So overall, the intention of this uh, brief session and brief, brief uh, primer um, was to introduce you to Anaconda um, data scientific and data science like driven environment um, and more specifically to introduce you to Spider. So Spider um, is the development environment, uh, interactive development environment IDE that we are going to be using uh, going forward. Um, some other features um, that we will go uh, deeper into uh, across um, the studies will include a debugging function as we're going to be using that uh, quite heavily um, and some other printing and um, data management like functions as we go uh, down the road. So overall, the very brief session, introduction to Spider, you will be able to locate this uh, in Anaconda Navigator. Once you have Anaconda fully installed, well, open Anaconda Navigator, you're going to end up with the home uh, default where you have all these tools pre-installed for you. Uh, for, uh, for the current sessions, we're going to be using Spider, as I mentioned to you, and also Orange. But feel free to explore any of these other tools um, that are available, such as PyCharm. Um, it's an, another variation of the IDE or our studios. And yet again, it's another variation of the IDE that can be used for Python as well as R as a programming language. Um, overall, last thing to mention, once you upload and download and install your Anaconda Navigator, um, within that environment, um, you will end up with the, the latest and greatest state-of-the-art um, tools and libraries um, that are currently available as an open source um, out there for uh, fintech specialists and data scientists to actually um, use. Uh, as a matter of fact, as a practitioner, um, I've seen these tools being used in investment banking um, across the hedge funds or, or trading space um, and across the, uh, the fintech industry uh, as such. All right, um, so I'll see you soon and um, enjoy.